This is another very quick video just to show some of the things you can expect if you don't remove rainwater from the base of a building. And here we've got a downpipe, and that downpipe is taking all of the water from this building. And you can see here a long gutter and that whole roof all drained into that one downpipe. And what am I looking at? Well, if you come along here, you can see that this wall is quite clearly leaning out and if you look closer you can see how this cement is all separating there's cracks, vertical cracks down there a bit of cracking down the bottom hole underneath, not very good a bit of a crack here in this cement sill it's not brilliantly obvious for people to see this lot's all been filled, you can see there's, there's cracking going up here and the reason for all this is the fact that there is almost no solid ground under this corner anymore because it's been undermined by the water coming out of that pipe and this is, you can see historically there is a, a crack here on the other side, another crack and you see all this recent cement pointing and that's telling me, as a surveyor, that the homeowner has tried to cover up the fact that there is substance. You can see another crack here, look. All of this is evidence that, you look in there, you see that crack running down. It's not a huge, obvious problem, but this is all evidence that the, the corner is subsiding um, and moving out, and as a result of that, if the base of this wall moves down and outwards, what's it allowed to happen? There you go. The wall of the building has actually bulged out. And that bulging is partly because the actual timber frame has moved out a little bit. And you can see from the evidence of that little crack there, it's slacking the timber frame off. And as it slacks it, it allows the timber to move outwards. So there again, little problem, just a bit of rainwater dribbling away around the corner and it's enough to destroy a building. So that's a very typical example of the sort of thing that happens if you, uh, if you get it wrong with these old buildings. It's very easy for them to fall in dis disrepair very quickly. So keep an eye on your gutters and downpipes and make sure they run away. That needs to be going into a proper drain that takes water away from the building, not just sitting into a little dish underneath the, uh, the corner and washing out under the corner of the building. There you go.